another exciting The Weekend Show, episode 104. Hopefully, you guys are having a grand weekend. Welcome back to the show, guys. Uh, again, thank you guys for just staying tuned for the show. We are rocking in the show. We're back in our KLP Entertainment Industry for the YouTube channel. Now, hopefully, you guys are having a great, great weekend. I know I've been having a great work week and a great weekend. So, let's get on to it. So, today's show, I'm going to talk about a lot of things. But first, you guys know what we do. I always do KLP Entertainment news. So uh, let's get on to it. So KLP Entertainment has been booming uh, in our movie industry. If you guys haven't seen it yet, go out and go check out Conviction. Uh, Conviction is out right now on YouTube and Facebook at uh, KLP Entertainment. So please go check it out because it, we're booming in the movie. Uh, Conviction is a great film that I advise everyone to go out there and go see. It is fantastic, and I really do hope that you guys uh I got there and see the movie because it's fantastic. It's out for face, uh, out for YouTube and Daily Motion at KLP Entertainment. Uh, you can watch it on either or platform, but please go check the movie out because it's a very new movie. And of course, we're here to talk about, and most people know on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter, that KLP Entertainment is launching a new magazine line. So yes. This new magazine line for KLP Entertainment, Element Magazine, has been uh, sort of hinted out and the account has been created. So please go follow Element Magazine on Instagram right now. So let me give you guys a little brief description about Element Magazine just a little bit because I know a lot of people had questions about it. Um, so KLP uh, uh, Entertainment is going to be launching Element Magazine. And what that is is a lifestyle, fashion, tech, success, hustle, that type of magazine that we're trying to do here at KLP Entertainment. Um, it's a great magazine line that I'm launching out for uh, the business and I really do hope that it uh, it will go far and I really do hope our fans do like the magazine. Again, very, very new. I just, something I wanted to do that I haven't really done yet. I've done everything that I could possibly think of, radio station, podcast show, talk show, and etc. but I never done a magazine line. So I wanted to launch that Element Magazine and you know, it's out for Instagram. It's Elements underscore magazine. Go follow it. So it's an online magazine that uh, you guys can su subscribe to. So with this online magazine, it's completely online. It's not paper copy, even though we might do paper copy for special giveaways in the future, but it's an online magazine where you guys can go out and see it. Of course, it's gonna be a tab on our main website at www.lucas904.wings.com slash KLPE. Of course, it's gonna be issued every month uh, or close to every month. I know uh, every month is, is a tight, tight, tight time to do. So we're going to try here at KLP Entertainment to do it every month. But um, every month or every other month, we're gonna be launching newer issues. Of course, uh, I'm very, very happy about this project that we're working on and I'm really, really, really excited the growth of it. Uh, this is just something else that another family component for KLP Entertainment um, to you know give back to our fan base because I know a lot of you guys uh, out there who's, who's viewing um, KLP Entertainment, you guys are watching, you're listening to all the things we're doing and to have that as another component for KLP Entertainment, I'm just really, really stoked and really excited to launch uh, that magazine. It's just going to be very, very fantastic. I just, you know, I can't wait. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's show. Thus far, we had a lot of good things to talk about. So to go on to our news announcement and to talk about on today's show here is I've seen it on Twitter. Twitter. If you guys haven't seen it on Twitter, please go see it. It is the self-driving car from Mercedes-Benz. Now, this this is not out. This is not something they're, they're releasing out for people to purchase right now. At least that I know of. <laughs> There's this thing I saw on Twitter and Facebook. It is the self-driving car that Mercedes-Benz is in practice and testing out and doing. This is really dope, but it kind of scares me a little bit, a little bit, because um, this really does scare me because it's just like, it's computerized. And I know computers are getting smarter. Technology is getting advanced out there, and it's just, it's getting out there. But it makes me nervous that, you know, you're not driving your own car. The car's driving for you, and it's taking you out there. So how much is this car might be? This car might be a lot of money because there's a lot of computer engineering and analytics that go into this kind of thing. But would I get one? If I'm rich, I would probably get one just because to say I got a self-driving car. Um, because it's, I love driving, but I hate driving, if that makes sense. I hate sitting in traffic, especially here in Atlanta. 
where Atlanta people can't drive. I'm sorry, Atlanta people, but some of y'all don't know how to drive. So you see that there's a car that can drive for you. It's very, very exciting uh, to me to just sit back in the back seat while the car's driving me to a meeting or work or something, and I'm just chilling. I, it's really, really cool. I really do appreciate not driving, but it kind of makes me nervous just to know because it's computerized and technology is not 100% efficient. Back in high school, I learned that, that theorem and that theory. So please, you guys remember, technology is not 100% efficient. You can't rely on it all the time, which is true. You cannot. So that's one thing that kind of makes me nervous because I go by that theory. And I'm always thinking to that theory as well because it's just like, it's not efficient. So what if something goes wrong with your car and you're on a highway, you're speeding down the highway and then something wrong and then you're, you, your car's not working and then you're just out there, you know? So that's why something like that makes me nervous. So again, and it's probably more car companies just trying to do this. I only seen this from Mercedes Benz. So I think they're testing it out. They have a couple more years to get this thing tested before it can be sold to retail consumers out there. So very, very exciting, you know? Um, so the next thing we're going to talk about, guys, is the Samsung Galaxy 9. So that thing is getting massive, y'all. It is getting out there. So they're trying to find ways to sort of compete with Apple. Now, even though they lost their recent lawsuit by Apple, uh, Samsung has to pay Apple, I think it's $58 million or $59 million. I don't remember the number. But they lost a huge lawsuit. There was a patent lawsuit uh, going around for Samsung and Apple. That was a long-awaited lawsuit. This was a long lawsuit, but Apple won that lawsuit, so now Samsung's giving that money. So I think that's probably why they're working as hard to make their, their revenue increase more because of that. It's just, you know, it, it is, it's, it's, and that's not as massive. I really do, I, I will always think of Samsung as a good reality. If I ever decide to go for a Galaxy, I will only really go for it because of the virtual reality. Um, my friend, uh, one of my friends had an S8, I believe, and she had, was able to get the Oculus VR headset for free because she got the phone. And she, she, we went over to her, her room, her place, and I tried it out, and it was really, really cool. Uh, it was really cool to see a virtual reality headset. Now, I've done virtual reality. Go check that video out. I've done virtual reality videos before, but not to the extent of the Oculus or the Vive, not the high-tech virtual reality where it's, more a lot more again she had this real cool thing netflix has virtual reality uh for the oculus and it's just like it's a cabin and it's you have the screen there it's so beautiful um i think i'm gonna get that one day but it's so beautiful to just watch netflix in a cabin but it's virtual reality you're not actually there so it's just it's really cool so uh i've been a sonic the hedgehog fan for you know 22 years i've been you know i remember when i first got introduced to sonic when my big brother had sonic one for sega genesis and you know i really i liked it i like sonic and i played sonic 2 and sonic 3 and sonic uh and knuckles um just really really excited to have something uh like this out again and ever since then i've been following sonic i had uh, action figures i had video games i had comic books um, and I had a hat, thanks to my big sister, Kendria. She got me a hat for my 17th birthday. I still got it in my closet. Um, so, Sonic news. Sonic is coming back. Um, Sega is coming back. Finally, they're trying to fix their company because they had a rough patch starting in 2006 all the way up. Um, they had some games that are, came out in 2010, like Sonic Colors and Sonic Generation. So, I'm going to exclude those titles because those titles were fantastic. I enjoyed uh, those type of Sonic games, but they had some lackluster type games. Uh, Sonic uh, 06, they say it was lackluster. I thought it was okay. Uh, Sonic Lost Worlds, honestly, I must say that's kind of a lackluster kind of game. Um, so, and Sonic Boom, they say that was a lackluster game too. And I never really played Sonic games on the Nintendo 3DS. I just never have. Um, so, um, Surf Sonic Generations on 3DS. I did have that copy. So, um, Sonic is coming back. Sonic Team's coming back. Uh, of course, Sonic Mania has been out, and Sonic um, Forces has been out, and I have both of those in my collection. And very awesome, good games. Very game, good games. Go check out Omega Game and KOP uh, on Twitch.tv or Mixer. Uh, Lucas and Ryan, that's our game attack. Uh, we're we streamed the Sonic Forces. It's probably still there. It's, we're within our 14 day mark. So go see that stream. That stream is awesome. I did the gameplay of that. But. Uh, Sonic Sega, uh, in general, has announced something very exciting uh, for their division. Of course, there's this new game called Team Sonic Racing. 
So, Team Sonic Racing. So, we have to pause it. So, Team Sonic Racing is a new Sonic Racing platform. They're taking elements of the previous Sega All-Star Racing game and the Sega All-Star Racing Transform games and incorporating it into a new title. So, this is a complete new title. This is not a resemblance to um, any of the Sonic Racing games. Uh, I've been reading articles this morning about it, and I've been reading things about it last night and this morning. So Team Sonic Racing is completely different. It's not going to involve Sega All-Stars, I believe. I believe that it's going to be involving just Sonic the Hedgehog characters, um, which is very, very exciting um, because I think it's very, very exciting because you're having characters that you see like uh, the classic Sonic characters that you don't really see in most games. They're coming to this game. Um, so that's why I believe they're calling it Team Sonic Racing, not Sega and Sonic All-Star Racing or something resembling to that. Team Sonic Racing, I think, is completely just Sonic the Hedgehog characters, which is going to be very, very exciting. I read on articles, and uh, Walmart apparently have linked it. Their pictures are linked it on their website. And then Amazon has it for pre-order right now. So you guys can actually pre-order the game right now for $40.00. Absolutely, I will be getting that game because um, Paycheck will look right uh, during the Christmas era um, this year. So, yes, I probably will be getting a copy of that game for Xbox One uh, later on this year. And I'll probably play it and do a live stream and do more stuff on it. Um, so I saw screenshots of it and, you know, Sonic has his, 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 his blue car. But I think they fixed it up and they really remixed it a little bit. I think it looks, it looks different. Like, they probably add some new... Uh, things to it. So to expect in this game, and this is pure speculation, Lucas Nation fans. Um, I'm speculating based off articles I've read. I, I don't work for Sega. Well, I wish I did, but I don't work for Sega. Um, I don't know any information about anything relating to the game uh, as much as b based off my prediction. So uh, just a little description there. Like I, this is my prediction, but uh, I do predict they're going to have a Grand Prix mode and an adventure mode of some sort. Uh, I read on articles they're calling it the team adventure mode, which I believe that might be like a story mode. Uh, I think it would be really, really dope if they added a story mode and actually cut scenes to a story mode. It's been a while since, well, besides Sonic Forces, that they had story mode type of games involving a lot of the Sonic characters. So I really do think that's going to sell it, the game, if you have a story mode to it. Uh, adding the characters back and adding these voice actors, getting voice actors to come work on this project and to get them paid too. Uh, like Roger Craig Smith and and a whole bunch of uh, uh, Travis Willingham and a whole bunch of voice actors and also Cindy Robinson. Those people are coming back for to work for Sega again to get some, not only to get a paycheck, but to really bring it out and really help Sonic grow. And that's going to be their selling point. And that's really going to, honestly, that's going to be their selling point if they add these characters back. Because we want to see characters like uh, Big the Cat or Cream or Espio or Vector. Even though you saw Vector and Espio and Charmy in Sonic Forces, but we want to make sure that we want to play them. We want to play them like we did in Sonic Heroes. We want to bring those characters back and we want to actually play those characters. Um, again, they're going to have a time attack trial. Every racing game has that. Expedition or some sort, based on the other articles, Expedition, just like a free play of the, the players out there. So, again, this is a really, really unique time for Sega to really bring back their um their gaming console of course because sonic racing games have been good somo digital they really really did really well in the sonic games i do think they need to change it up so that way it's not a mario kart copy because a lot of people say that sonic have copied mario kart which i can actually agree because the mechanics are kind of the same so like it should be completely 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 different so again sega you got a lot of uh, you got a lot of people that's riding on you, so I, I hope that you guys, I hope that you guys get there. Um, so the next thing I wanted to talk about, guys, is this new hit movie, Superfly. Yeah, so I know the movie that is not out there, typically on the, the show, I like to talk about the movies that I've seen or reviewed. Um, I just want to give a shout out to the movie because this movie is set here in Atlanta, our headquarters for KOP Entertainment, uh, Atlanta. So I am really anticipating on this movie to be awesome. Uh, I believe that I'm going to take uh, my brother out for his birthday. We're actually going to go see this movie on his birthday. His birthday is June 20th. So a couple days after the movie is out. So hopefully... <coughs> so hopefully this, this movie will be fantastic. It's just 
it's not your average drug smuggling movie, but it is kind of a drug smuggling movie. You got music from Future, you got Director X, you got a whole bunch of people who, who came to work on this film. And I think this is going to be the most anticipated movie here in Atlanta, Georgia, because the movie's set in Atlanta. So everyone here in Atlanta is probably going to see the movie just to see how the movie goes. You got um, the actor, I forgot his name, but he played... Um, um, uh, I'm trying to think of the, the rapper name. I'm blanking now. But he played a rapper on Straight Outta Compton. Uh, Easy? Easy E? I think. I probably, I don't know. But he played one of the rappers because he's the guy that says that um, when, when he gets, uh, um, I think it's HIV or AIDS, and he's like, I don't feel that bad. You know, he's that actor. So he's, he's in the movie. So it, it's very, very exciting to see that, you know, the actors like that, you're, you're starting out. Uh, straight out of Compton that made millions and that's a high anticipated movie of that year and then you got you coming back for Superfly so I just I am anticipating on Superfly being great um, hopefully you guys go out there and go see the movie I will be seeing the movie possibly June 20th uh, on my brother's birthday I'm taking him out and going to go see that movie so it's gonna be very very awesome so it's just it's really really cool so that's gonna do it for today's show guys hopefully you guys enjoyed it please go out and check out all the links in the description below Please subscribe to Element Magazine. We're going out and we're growing in that industry. I know I am because it's just going to be uh, very, very awesome to see that we're doing something like that out there. Um, again, check us out. You know, we're out there on KLP Entertainment via YouTube, Facebook, and all other social media accounts. Go like them there in the link description below and follow us everywhere. So this has been the Weekend Show with your, with your host, Kennedy Lucas, episode 104. I'm Kennedy Lucas, logging out.